Previously on Survival Roleplay. I have spoken to both your auntie and uncle last night, and we've come to an agreement. We're going to start the tenancy. So from now on, your farm manager. Ah, so much to plan. But first, I'm going to have a nap. Good news everyone, my Land Rover is fixed. The bad news is, the bill came to £750. I don't know if I should tell Dennis or not. Um, there is one reason why I shouldn't do, and I'll explain on the way back to the farm. We're not going to go in the Land Rover, we're going to go in this. This is rented. It's just cost me, well it's just cost the farm £250 for this setup, but it's really not too bad. This is for a day by the way. Uh, it's not bad because I've also got a price for a drill, which is a bit bigger than ours, just here. And this one here is just £80 per day. So that's on top of the 250 obviously, but yes, we'll uh, hopefully be using this in the very near future. Maybe even today. Um, but yeah, 250 initially for this setup. And we can keep this tractor for using on the drill, but I don't think we're going to. I don't think we need to. I'm pretty sure the Massey Ferguson's can pull the drill. Yeah, so anyway, it looks like I've drawn a bit of a crowd. Um, yes, basically, I don't think I should tell Uncle Dennis about how much it's cost for the repairs, even though he did do it completely on his own. It's completely his responsibility, uh, because I have actually got a pretty good deal. If you remember back a while ago, actually, I was showing you that Massey Ferguson 1200, which is in the shed over at Dennis's farm and Auntie's farm. Um, well, basically, I approached him and I said, what do you want to do with it? I'd be happy to take it off your hands. And I was trying to think of a, a figure in my head. How much is it worth? And he just said, what that piece of scrap? You can have it. So it's free. We get to keep the 1200. It, now, it, it is actually uh, potentially just a pile of scrap, uh, which is why today we're going to have a good look at it. We've got the front loader. Hopefully we can move the bits out, put them in the workshop and really assess the condition. Now I know it does sound very unlike Uncle Dennis to give things away for free, so I think he's feeling a bit guilty about damaging the Land Rover in the first place. So this cultivator is for this field, and there is a field at the top which needs to be done. Uh, it's quite white, it does unfold quite nicely, it's like a, it's a disc harrow sort of thing. Uh, so it's not going to dig deep, but I think I'm going to um, take it to the farm first. I think we'll look at the 1200 first, the Master Ferguson 1200, and then we could do the cultivating after that. But basically the plan is to keep three grass fields which can be cut. Obviously that does not include uh, fields which have animals in, so three grass fields that can be cut. So we still have at least two more big ones to cultivate. I've gone ahead and done a few more with the small cultivator. But yeah, I left the big ones for this particular setup. We needed a bit more power and certainly more width. So let's just jump out. Uh, the uh, dealership put this on. Got the hoses in, just take that off, pull the pin out, and we're good. So we'll get that sorted later. I've been in contact with Auntie. She is coming home tomorrow. She just needed to have a break after everything that's been going on. She really just couldn't cope anymore, I don't think. Okay, so here it is. It's a bit of a sorry sight, but I would love to restore this. If we can restore this, then we would have a, a pretty big tractor on the farm and we wouldn't have to rent things like this. It's a nice tractor, but obviously it's more expense. Um, so yeah, let's just see, do we have any bits? There's probably bits in all the grass. Yes, look, we've got something down here, a window. Let's just get that picked up. That does not want to be driven over because amazingly it has the glass in it still. That's incredible. Um, does the rest of the tractor, it might have a window or two, but yeah, it looks like mostly uh, it's without glass, which is a shame. Thankfully, it has been kept in the shed. So it hasn't been rained on directly. 
Uncle said that he has no memory of it at all, uh, of it working. He said he thinks it was working when he bought the place, but yeah, he couldn't tell me anything else. So it's a bit, it's a bit weird, a bit vague, um, but you know what it's like. But that's kind of good because it means that it was running within the last few decades. <laughs> Oh, these things are heavy. Very, very heavy wheels. Okay. Doesn't really roll because obviously we've got all this wood in the way. Um, yeah, crikey, that is really heavy. Weighs an absolute ton. Well, if we can just sort of get it over here, then maybe we can put it on the forks. Oh, just try and drop it there. Nice. It stayed on, but yeah, that is super heavy. Can we see inside the cab? We kind of can. It actually doesn't look terrible. It looks like it's got over 8,000 hours on it, and it's got a lot of tree growing in it as well. But yeah, it could be worse. The exterior, likewise, it could be worse. It's got surface rust, but because it has been underneath this shelter for goodness knows how many years, um, it really has been protected. So I'm going to hopefully get it out of here. We've got to move these wooden planks. Um, can we get it through here? Yeah, maybe we can. Yeah, I'm very conscious of the fact that we need to do the uh, cultivating because we need to return it today, the cultivator. Um, but I am tempted to start this. See, the thing is... Oh, please, it fall off. Yeah, the thing is we need to um, also return the tractor because this is in the same rental agreement. And I need the tractor to move the 1200, so it's a bit tough getting everything done today. Oh, we've also got that field in front of us to do. Because it is now September, we want to be getting crops in the ground, and I haven't even finished cultivating. So I know that getting sidetracked into this restoration project is probably not the wisest idea. It has the potential to really help the farm eventually. And I say it has the potential, because <laughs> uh, there's a very good chance that we'll never see a run, which would be disappointing, but I'm really going to make an effort. We'll probably have to take it to some specialists for various different jobs, probably electrics, maybe engine gearbox work, that sort of thing. Uh, let's move this. Let's just get this shifted. We do not want to get the 135 scratched. I still haven't heard anything about this silage, so I think we'll probably end up selling it. We don't want it to go off. And it is potential money you sat there. Okay. We can arrange things properly later. But there is a wheel. It's a step in the right direction. Now I've just fitted this drill to the back of the tractor as a counterweight. Because I don't think we have a, a rear weight on this farm. And, uh, well, like I said, the tractor is in two halves, so it shouldn't be too heavy for each half. First, though, we've got these planks, which we'll just move. I've put the roller there. The grass is so long, though, you can barely see it. We'll just drop this on the grass here. I'll have a good tidy up at a later date. And now for the other plank. And then we'll be able to attempt picking up the cab section, the engine cab section. Pretty good wood this. Maybe we could find another use for it. Right, well it picked up those alright. Not saying this tractor is light, but it has had quite a lot of weight removed from it in the past. Uh, it's partially disassembled. I have managed to lift it partially. Let's see if we can get it transported back to the farm. Wow. Just have to readjust. But the rear part of it should be easier. For now, I'm just going to pop that there. I 
I'll get it in the shed later. Well, we used to have some wheels here, um, but that's not a problem. We can transport those with the 250, Master Ferguson 250. Uh, yeah, this is all we needed uh, really to move today with this heavier tractor. It's all here though, isn't it? It looks very complete. Let's just take a look. Yep, so we've got three-point linkage. Everything is here. It's just been disconnected from the main part of the tractor. Differential, four-wheel drive, all that sort of stuff. It's all looking very promising. Very promising indeed. I say, where is the young man? Ah, oh, there he is over there. My lovely tractor. Good morning, dear boy. Now, could you tell me why you're removing this tractor from the shed? Because I can. It belongs to my uncle and auntie, so I asked them if I could have it, and they said yeah. I see. Well, what are you going to do with it? Well, I was planning on restoring it. Hopefully, if it's not too bad. <laughs> oh, trust me. Don't bother. Yeah, well, I'm not the sort of person that gives up just by looking at something. I'm going to give it a go. I say. Well, it would be good to see it on the road again. Thing is, though, I've put quite a few thousands of pounds in that tractor myself. So, if you get it running, I expect to receive a percentage. I don't think so. It belongs to Uncle and Auntie, not you. Why did you put money into it, if it's not yours? I used to help out wherever I could. And when they were struggling for money, I helped them get this tractor back on the road. Well, that's very kind of you. But unfortunately, it doesn't really change the situation. It's not your tractor. Oh, well, we'll just see about that, won't we? Anyway, best of luck to you. Hope you don't try too hard. My goodness, he is funny. Funny is in weird. Anyway, I'm going to take this drill off and I'm going to go and put the cultivator back onto this tractor. And we must start cultivating. We've got lots to do. That's the drill dropped off. And I've just moved those other implements back into the shed. So I don't run over them next time I go mowing. So let's get these next three fields done. And we're off. So I just requested a tractor which could pull this cultivator. Uh, so I've sort of left it down to them to put it on the right tractor. I didn't specify, what is it, a stayer? A stayer tractor? Um, so yeah, it must work. It must be able to pull it. We'll start with the one down here, and then we'll move to the top one. Leaving three fields, which we're going to keep for mowing. And silage, hay, that sort of thing. We don't currently have any animals. It's something I'm going to be working on. Hopefully we can get some animals in the near future. Um, but I also need to gain more experience. We just need to get the farm stable first. Without relying on Peter or anything. We don't want to be asking him for things continuously. Right. The controls are a bit different in this tractor. I think it's this lever? Nope. Oh, maybe I haven't put the hydraulics in. There we go. I think it is this lever though. Let's just try it. Perfect. Right, let's get cultivating. Also make sure we get into the right gear. Yep, that seems to be working. So it's not going to be particularly fast, but the point is it's going to get this field cultivated up so that we can get a, an arable crop put in is of course our end goal. We want to have as many arable crops as possible. We have the combine, thanks to Peter. So we need to really make the most of it. That's fantastic, it's doing a really good job. As usual, I'm leaving quite a large grass headland for wildlife and for space so that we can actually manoeuvre. We don't want to be harvesting right up to the fence. That's brilliant, that's really good. Okay, let's get this field done.
it's a great little surface tickler. It's left a lot of debris obviously on top, but that's what we would expect. Um, but yeah, it's now ready to have a crop put in. We might not be able to do all the fields before winter, in fact very unlikely. But we can do some in the spring because we can put some spring crops in as well. Anyway, let's just close this gate and we'll move on to the next field. I think actually the next field is the one which we've already harvested. Because to get to the top field, I've never actually been there. I think we have to go through one of the livestock fields, I think. Because I'm only just discovering these new fields. I didn't know exactly which fields belong to Auntie and Uncle. And clearly they own a lot. They don't own that one. But that's pretty much the only one in this area they don't own. Yes, it might be that field that we go through. I will see if Dennis is in, and I'll ask him. But we'll just cultivate that field there first of all. So to get to that, we have to go down as if we're going to where the 1200 was kept. Nice setup this, but I don't think we'll be affording a tractor like this for quite some time. I'm hoping to buy this farm's tractors. The 135 and the 250. I think it's fair to say that probably one of the first machines that we're going to have to look out for is a bigger cultivator and a bigger drill. Well, our drill, or Uncle's drill specifically, uh, is not terrible. It's not tiny, tiny. But now that we have so many arable fields, we could do it bigger. So I think at some point in the winter time, definitely in the winter time, when we've got more time, we'll go to a farm auction. And we will try and acquire some bigger machinery. Sadly though, as we have no crops to harvest except for grass, um, there's not going to be much more income this side of winter, which is a bit worrying. See if Dennis is in. Hey -o. Hello Dennis, I just wanted to ask you how to get into the field behind this field, the one behind the house. Oh well, there's two ways, but the best way is to go through into the field behind the house, go up the field and you'll find some barbed wire. Now don't cut yourself, Roll it back, and you can drive in. Failing that, there is a gate, but... Well, the directions for that are just very complicated. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll go through the barbed wire way, then. Thanks, Uncle. Any time. Right, where was I? Well, these instructions are pretty clear. So, it's in this field now, so we can actually keep this gate open. Just open it up, jump back into the tractor, and we'll drive through. And then we go up this field, there should be a barbed wire fence or gate or something. Yeah, I think I can see it. This must be it. And, well, there is a gate somewhere, a normal gate, apparently. So I think it just unhooks. Yeah, there we go. This is the final field, which is going to be cultivated. Everything which is left is either for grazing or for cutting. So once again we'll unfold that and we'll get going. Lovely. Very good. This tractor has uh, worked hard. 
I think it probably would benefit from having a bigger tractor on it, but the thing is, it can do it. And that's all that matters. This is going to be the most challenging field for it though, because it does go uphill. Um, if it can't do it, we should go across. I didn't specify the sort of terrain that I was working on. But so far, so good. Touch wood. And what an incredible view we get from up here. Wow, that is spectacular. Beautiful. The last field is almost finished. I'm starting to get very excited about getting the crops in. We don't have to go with the one which is at the store. They do have others. That was the one which is there. That's the one which I said I'd probably be interested in. Um, although, yeah, now that I've cultivated some of these fields, it just goes to show how much we have to drill. Although if we stagger it, if we do it like a piece now and a piece in uh, the new year in the spring, it will be uh, much easier. So this leaves the field behind us, which we haven't even really been to before, the field which we cut, the grass field that we cut, and also the field just the other side of the bed and breakfast, which we also haven't really been to. Um, I did rest there one afternoon. But yeah, this is one of the fields that we're going to be cutting eventually. It's actually also full of weeds, so it, well, maybe it should be cultivated and re-drilled. But we could certainly get a cut out of it. Just close that gate. And yeah, the other one is just over there. Oh, this must be the gate he was talking about. With the complicated directions. It's also missing its handle. Um, yeah, I guess it is more complicated to come this way. But anyway, let's just climb over here. This is the other grass field. So we have three really good grass fields. I would love to be able to rebuild the bed and breakfast, but obviously we need to get the farm stable first. Because then also it would bring so much happiness to uncle and auntie, and they'll be able to then run that again, hopefully. In fact, maybe after that they could then run the farm without Peter's help. Okay, well I'm going to take this back. This is going to go back to the dealership. Um, I will just quickly put this tractor in the shed, nice and neatly. There we go. And yeah, I've got the back window nice and safe, just here on the bench. We do not want that to get smashed. Um, so yeah, that is a project that we can start to look into soon. And there we go, safely returned. Well, I just returned the tractor and I also paid the uh, the garage here for my Land Rover work. But when I came back to the Land Rover, I discovered this, a note stuck to the side. And it's a bit odd. It says, lean over to find a clue. This may help you. What? Is that referring to here? What is it talking about? I wasn't even looking for clues.